NXT took place tonight, and of course, this is the go-home show for NXT TakeOver and your host, which is this Saturday. Feels like no one even knows what's going to happen this Saturday. But you have that show. You started off with um, uh, a grudge match at Cancer Ray against Mia Yim. So this whole thing, I guess, will probably turn into a, uh, a mixed tag. And of course it did. It basically ends with a no contest. Gargano doesn't have much to do in NXT. I've been going over this every... I feel like he can just move on to the main roster. Candice, I guess, can stay, but... Uh, Mia Yim and Keith Lee will probably do better on the main roster, because... Um, well, Keith Lee has... A, I think he'll do very well, because he's so much bigger than Gargano. Uh, he'll do far better than Gargano will, but um, Keith Lee is someone who... I don't think they're... I don't know how much they'll really push, but if they get behind him, he can be one of the top, you know major top heavyweights, top heavyweight champions in that company if they get behind him. And uh, they were pushing him when the, at the Survivor Series. And me, I'm someone who I don't see as much potential as her. I don't know if they're Twitter, they boyfriend, girlfriend, I don't know, uh, if they're married or anything. But um, I don't know if she has much potential, but she can be okay. I think if they give her a better gimmick, I'm not a huge fan of her gimmick, they can uh, do something with me, I'm, but I think she'll get called up as well. But uh, Gargano and Lorraine, I mean, why are they still there? They've been there forever. It's at this point, what's going to happen? Like, what else do they really need from them at this point? Um, I think they've done everything they could. I'm not huge in this heel, but they did get the win. So uh, this was a good win. And uh, you had uh, you had it set up, probably, uh, the feud to continue. They do a vignette, and Gargano and uh, Cancer get the win here, as I forgot to mention, actually. They do a vignette for Tommaso Ciampa against Karrion Cross at TakeOver. Uh, Karrion's definitely winning. Kenzie Mitchell interviews Dexter Loomis. Okay. Uh, she then interviews Drake Maverick. This is really good. Maverick has a ton of charisma. And uh, he's needed his big moment. And uh, ever since he got fired, he made that video. He cried. And uh, yeah, it was the best thing that ever happened to him. Um, they're going to resign this guy. Uh, yeah, he... Um, He's absolutely going to get a big uh, big push. So they do uh, a prime target featuring... Uh, I'm going to skip this. They did Isaiah, Isaiah, not interested. Isaiah sort of caught beat Tony Nese. Okay, match. Don't really care much. He had Jake Gallagher rush in the ring. Wasn't he the Mary Poppins guy? Brizongo, who's still employed. I don't know how Tyler Breeze and Fondago are still employed, but they're there. They beat the industry era who are Roderick Strong and Bobby Fish and uh, Brit Arm Brawlers, Danny Burch, Orlando Crane. And, Lincoln, and a triple th- no, no, tag team match to become number one contenders. Uh, why? Why Why can't these guys be released? They should have been released on that mass firing. None of them, both of them aren't any good anymore. Tyler Breeze was entertaining in NXT. He had the worst main roster run ever. And Fondago had a really cool two months when he got really over with the crowd after WrestleMania when he just sang a song. And then they realized he was a jobber and no one cared about him. So, uh, yeah, they uh, they mm, didn't care. They, uh, Santana Garrigan, sadly, uh, no one cares. Prime Target, uh, who cares? So Charlotte Flair is going to defend her title against Rhea Ripley and Shun, uh, Io Shirai. It looks good. Cameron Grimes beat Bon Bronson Reed. Uh, then he had uh, Karrion Cross uh, with Scarlett running after the match to attack Bronson Reed. He suplexes him on his hand with the suplex, and then he threatens Chomp on uh, Scarlett, looking great. I love Scarlett Bordeaux. Uh, you had El Hijo de Fantasma defeat Drake Maverick, and he's the NXT Cruiserweight tri- Champion fight in the finals. He wins. I don't know. Is this it for Drake? Um, I hope this is not it for Drake Maverick. Uh, yeah. Um, I hope this is not it, but he is over. It's done. El Hijo de Fantasma wins the Cruiserweight title. After it, he's sad. He... He sold it like this is his career is over. Luckily for him, he has a savior. Triple H comes out. He has a new contract for Drake Maverick. He's in tears. He signs the contract. And uh, he is there. And Drake Maverick resigns in the WWE. He survives. He is not going to be fired. And uh, you know what? If this, is, uh, this is one of those things. I don't want to laugh at it. But if you ever, if the next wrestler ever gets fired, you better cry. You better make a video on your Facebook or on your Twitter or on your Instagram crying, devastated, and shocked, and you're going to get signed to a new fat contract. Uh, 
that's the idea here. But uh, in all seriousness, I'm happy for Drake Maverick. Good guy. Happy for his family. He's got a smoking hot wife, by the way. Um, and uh, cool for him. He gets a new contract. And uh, I thought they should just have him win. I would have had him win this match here. But, yeah, that's it. And uh, cool that they keep him here. I don't think this is a work. Some people are saying it's all a work. I don't think so. And that ends NXT. Happy ending. I think we all need a nice, good, feel-good moment right now. And this sets up the Saturday NXT Takeover in your house. We'll see who, we'll see the show. Hopefully, we get a good one. Even though it's it's not going to be as good of one of the better takeovers because it's in MT Arena. Hopefully, we, WWE can still give us a good show.